As October arrives once again, it's the perfect time to delve into the world of cryptids, especially during the month of horror. Today, we venture to Philadelphia to explore one of its most renowned pieces of folklore, second only to the infamous trash man, the Jersey Devil. This cryptid, as its name suggests, is said to inhabit southern New Jersey in the heavily forested Pine Barrens, located near the coast. While many cryptids can be easily described due to their resemblance to known animals, the Jersey Devil falls into a more complex category. Its appearance has been described in various ways over the years, but the most consistent features are bat-like wings and hooves. However, even these characteristics can vary greatly. The creature's head is believed to resemble that of a goat or a horse with horns, and it possesses small clawed arms and a forked tail. Some have compared it to a wyvern or a chimera, albeit with a single head. Aside from its ability to fly and frighten people, the Jersey Devil is associated with numerous ill omens. It has been blamed for everything from bad harvests and droughts to missing livestock and unproductive cows. Additionally, the creature is said to engage in sinister activities such as knocking down trees to harm people in boiling streams of water to burn them alive. Some believe that it appears periodically, every 7 or 13 years, as a sign of impending war, disaster, and hardship. Now that we have covered the creature's description, let's explore its origins. The story dates back to the 18th century, specifically 1735, in the Pine Barrens region. There lived a woman named Jane Leeds, also known as Mother Leeds. Despite her poverty, Jane had already given birth to 12 children, with a 13th on the way. Frustrated with her circumstances, she cursed the unborn child, claiming it would be the devil. When the night of labor arrived, a violent storm shook the entire house as Jane's friends and family gathered to assist her. The child was initially born normal but rapidly transformed into a deformed monstrosity. Its feet turned into hooves, its head resembled that of a goat, leathery wings sprouted from its back, and a forked tail thrashed violently. The child screamed and resisted any attempt to hold it down. Eventually, it broke free and flew up the chimney, disappearing into the surrounding pine forests. According to some versions of the tale, Mother Leeds was believed to be a witch or sorceress, and the child was considered a demon due to its supposed devil father. This is why the creature was initially known as the Leeds Devil or the Devil of Leeds, combining the family name with the town of Leeds Point where they resided. However, the credibility of this story and its connection to any real historical events remains questionable. Although a woman named Jane Leeds married a man named Daniel Leeds, there is no apparent link between them and the birth of a devil child. Nevertheless, the 18th century newspapers continued to publish the story multiple times, likely benefiting from its intriguing nature and ability to attract readers. Another explanation proposes that Mother Leeds might have been Deborah Leeds, married to Jaffet Leeds, both residents of Leeds Point. In 1730, Jaffet named 12 children in his will, aligning with the original legend. However, this could be coincidental, and the high number of children among the women of Leeds Point might be unrelated to the origin of the Jersey Devil. Another origin story revolves around a girl from Leeds Point who fell in love with a British soldier during the American Revolution in 1778. Given the disdain between the opposing sides during the Battle of Chestnut Neck in southern New Jersey, their secret relationship and pregnancy were seen as treason. As a result, the girl and her child were cursed, and she gave birth to a child who would later become known as the Leeds or Jersey Devil. Despite numerous claims of sightings, there are no credible photographs of the Jersey Devil. The accounts of those who have allegedly encountered the creature vary greatly. One of the most famous sightings comes from Joseph Bonaparte, the elder brother of Napoleon, who swore he saw a devilish creature while hunting game on his Bordentown estate in 1820. In 1840, locals claimed to have seen the creature once again in the same area, where it was reportedly killing livestock. Sightings continued in subsequent years, with reports of screams and tracks in the snow. In 1925, a farmer claimed to have encountered an unidentified animal attempting to steal his chickens. He shot and killed the creature, displaying its corpse to over a hundred people, none of whom could identify it. However, there are conflicting stories about the creature's vulnerability to firearms. 
Commodore Stephen DeSoto, during a visit to the Hanover Mill, fired a cannonball at the Jersey Devil, but it seemingly had no effect as the creature flew away unharmed. The intriguing aspect of the Jersey Devil's lore is the wide range of encounters reported by regular townsfolk. One story involves a sheriff and his officers who chased the creature away from a farm where missing cattle and blood-curdling screams had been reported. As the devil fled into the woods, the men were too terrified to pursue further. The sheriff then challenged the creature, asking it to rattle its chains if it truly was the devil. To their amazement, all the men claimed to have heard the sound of chains rattling. This account aligns with versions of the story that suggest the creature's demonic lineage. The legend of the Leeds Devil emerged in the 18th century and gradually spread beyond the Pine Barrens to become part of New Jersey's folklore. It transformed from a local ghost story told on stormy nights into a legend known throughout North America in the 20th century. In 1909, a significant week marked the turning point, with newspapers publishing hundreds of claimed encounters and sightings across the state. The subsequent snowball effect led to mass panic, school closures, and warnings for people to stay away. While the Jersey Devil's existence remains unconfirmed, its legend persists, captivating people with its mysterious origins, varied descriptions, and chilling encounters. It continues to be an enduring part of New Jersey's cultural heritage, evoking a sense of intrigue and fear in the hearts of those who dare to explore the Pine Barrens and its surrounding areas during the month of horror.